parents, teachers, graduates, Mr. Cullinane, Ms. Pratt, Mr. Tucker, the NRSD school committee, faculty and staff, and the entire Neshoba community. It is my honor and profound privilege to say a few words to my fellow classmates at a time where one of life's greatest milestones is reached and celebrated. While I continue to hurt that our class was unable to celebrate with the original fanfare of senior year, I hold comfort in the knowledge that our class has one heck of a story to tell those in the next generation. We are one of the only classes to be graduating in the midst of a global pandemic, the only class to be given the opportunity to find new and creative ways to communicate, explore, and celebrate in a different and unique way, unlike any other class before us. For those who may not know me, my name is Daniel DeMeo, president of the Neshoba Regional High School class of 2020. My speech today is to say a brief thank you and to offer just a bit of advice to my fellow graduates as we come to the end of this chapter and embark on our journey into the next chapter. I would like to take this time to express how thankful I am to the people who helped make a difference both within our class and school community. I would like to thank our class advisors, Mrs. Glenister and Mr. Emerson, for their support, guidance, and friendship throughout the past four years. I would also like to thank our class officers and those who have served within our executive board for the good of our class. I want to thank the Neshoba Regional High School staff, faculty, teachers, and administration for sharing this incredible journey with us and for all you have done for the good of our class and our school community. I would like to devote my speech to something that has been on my mind recently. In light of the current COVID-19 pandemic, I was thinking about the character and grit our class holds and I know in my heart that what we are going through will never be able to defeat us. I hold comfort in the knowledge that our class was given a rare opportunity, the opportunity to see the world through a different lens, the opportunity to grow stronger, care for one another, and share a story to the next generation of high school seniors. When seniors look back 20 years from now, they will read that the class of 2020 helped each other, supported one another, brought out the good in each other, and grew stronger and more confident in themselves than ever before. The last three months have allowed me to really slow down and determine the things that are important within my life. It allowed me to realize we are not entitled to the life we live. Rather, we hold the knowledge that we are blessed to have a chance to live it. It is not our right to be given a good life. It is our right to make one for ourselves a life that we can look back on and tell our children and their children, this is what I did to help make the world a better place. This class is filled with innovators ready to change the world, doctors ready to make new medicine and heal those who are sick, lawyers ready to defend and fight for justice and equality, teachers ready to teach and guide the next generation of students, carpenters and engineers ready to design and build bridges to the future. Artists, musicians, entertainers, caregivers, businessmen, entrepreneurs, athletes, scientists, environmentalists, farmers, politicians, nurses, and so many more, all ready to leave their mark on the world. There will be some who doubt the promise we hold for the future, but I urge this class to keep marching. Keep marching towards your dreams. Let us go out and change this world together one step at a time. This senior class will forever have the courage, strength, passion, and determination to achieve what we set out to achieve. We prove that it takes more than a pandemic to stop the class of 2020. And I ask that when we leave here today, we will continue to walk the path towards our destiny, determined to use the life we've been given to make something for ourselves, our community, and our world. The world is ours, and what we make of it will set the example to the next generation. Let us set an example that comprises nothing short of love, compassion, commitment to service, and equal justice and opportunity for all. Seniors, it has been my absolute honor to work with you all these past four years. I am sad our time together is coming to a close, but I remain confident that our best is yet to come. Keep being the individuals that you are. The world is a better place with you in it, and I am so excited to see all the accomplishments we will achieve. As I conclude my remarks here today, I would like to leave us with a quote from my favorite childhood author, Dr. Seuss. Seuss writes, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. 
the memories and friendships that were made, the laughter and stories that were shared, they happened. And together, together we will smile. Thank you.